My name is Anna Roš. I'm uh, Slovenian. Together with my husband, I run Kisha Franco. We have a great team who is trying to um, use and abuse beautiful territory um, where we live. Great ingredients to realize a special and unique cuisine, uh, which makes a good interpretation of the place where we come from. Slovenia is one of the greenest countries in the world, um, but I think Socha Valley, where we come from, is probably the greenest part of Slovenia. Um, people have always been living very close to the nature. Um, the reasons are many. One of them is because we are um, a population of peasants. Uh, uh, it's a, a, rural, a rural population, um, countryside, a lot of countryside. Um, so people on the countryside always live close to the nature. The other one is probably that we um, are not the richest country in the world or in tradition uh, we have been more, um, I think, a kind of a countryside of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Uh, so people tended to uh, and needed to live close to the nature because, I mean, they couldn't afford to live in another way. So it remained up to today. People have gardens, every house has a garden. Even if you are high in the mountain, you will find that the house has a garden close. If you go to Ljubljana in the middle of the capital, you have gardens. The Socha Valley is uh, so-called the land of the living waters. The Socha River, but also other rivers, um, are super clean, super cold um, and full of oxygen. So they are ideal habitat for, um, for the best possible freshwater fish. When we started the restaurant, the funny thing was that uh, it was very difficult uh, to convince people with freshwater fish. We live on Italian uh, border and for Italians the only fish that is uh, really acceptable is uh, seafood. Uh, and the trout would be like a secondary, secondary fish. Uh, but with the work we are doing today, I think uh, we showed that the excellence of the fish is just in capacity of the chef also, how he prepares it and of course of the quality of the rivers where the fish comes from. So uh, Dreznica region uh, is an incredibly beautiful region uh, with, of course, super beautiful nature and they are home to uh, the only Slovenian autochton goat, which is Dreznica Koza and we are getting goat kits from there. And, uh, but Dreznica has in some parts super Mediterranean climate because some of the villages around it are facing the sea. This is how we made a combination of um, sea and uh, goat flavors at one dish because the sweetness of the goat meat is close to the crab meat. So we get crab meat from Marano Lagunare which is the sea we can see from all these mountains and uh, uh, it's mixed up with uh, um, front and uh, goat shoulders and uh, legs which is a kind of a pulled meat. We make a wrap which you eat with your hands 
and then um, because it's such a skinny skinny animal yeah you know you have a lot of skinny parts so we break them down to a double consomme intense and inside you have a little uh, um, a little dumpling which is filled with all the offals of the goat kid mm -hmm. so the idea is like you warm your hands like in japan with the uh, warm consomme you drink the soup snack the wrap and then at the end with a spoon you eat out the offal um, the offal dumpling in that dish we actually use the whole goat kit and of course the combination with crepe actually makes it a little bit more tricky and funny uh, especially because the two meats are so close together that they can actually they unify into one You know, Slovenia is one of the countries, uh, if not the country which is mostly populated by bears. And uh, sometimes they're a little bit threatening our living environment. Uh, I'm always scared to meet a bear. It is super regulated hunting uh, and it normally goes in the individually on a bear that is making trouble. I said, if you think of a bear, what do you think of? And Leonardo was like, a trout. And I was like, where did you get the trout? And I think he was looking at these movies, Canadian movies, you know, the bear hunting the trout with his hand, uh, fishing the trout with his hand. And I was like, okay. Andrea said berries because we are in the season of berries. And then uh, we added honey and green janiper from which we are picking on Colorado Mountain. And we made a dish that I really love because it's, it's flavorful, because bear meat is intense. We smoke the trout, cook a very intense smoked broth out, and then we take the skin off and deep fry it to a crunch. I, it's a bear, it's a dish that actually could represent me a lot. It's a kind of like a little bit tricky because not everybody understands why the trout should be there.